there's a new recycling facility that has just opened in Fair Oaks. It's using state of the art technology to help claim your deposits. Dina Kupfer is there this morning giving us a little tour and also a look at the process. Hey, Dina. Hi, good morning to all of you. This is so cool. Photographer Dave Grassoff and I walked in and we're like, this is really, really something. So it's called Simply Recycle, the first of its kind here in Northern California. And it's all because of a grant that was provided through the state to make sure that everybody knows how to recycle and does it in a way that is easy, right? That's the benefit of recycling. If it's easy, is that you're going to do it. So we've got Ivan with us this morning. Ivan Pilsner, come on over here. So you are with Simply Recycle, yes. brand new facility here in Fair Oaks. They don't even have their grand opening until tomorrow. But we get a little sneak peek. Let's talk about the facility, where we're at this morning, and what you're doing behind us. Uh, so we are in Fair Oaks. This is a uh, first of its kind depot style recycling center. We try to make it as easy as possible for customers to recycle their stuff. They don't have to sort their material. They just dump it mixed, and our technology will handle the rest for them. Okay, so let's. It's, we're following it through the system now. So you can put everything in aluminum, glass, and plastic. And what are we watching as it goes through this conveyor so belt? So once the customer dumps it in there, it'll go into the singulator. It'll single file the uh, bottles and cans and glass. It'll go through a 360 camera. It'll scan the barcode and determine if it's a nickel or dime. They'll get their exact one for one payment. So and then after that, it'll go down to the conveyor belt where it'll get sorted into its proper place. OK, this is so cool because I think the the I don't want to say the bad side of recycling because there really isn't a bad side, but it can become a time consuming effort to not only save all those cans and bottles at your house, but then take them to a facility if you don't have that service coming to you on garbage day. But this is really meant to simplify it. There are many items that you accept. There are also some that won't be accepted. So what happens to that if the machine can't scan it? If somebody like crushes a can or something? Oh, so if, if if it's crushed, it'll just come back to a rejection shoot, and then we'll still be able to pay the customer out. Or if for some reason, if it doesn't read the barcode properly, the customer will still get their money back, not to worry. Okay, how is all this made possible? Because the fact that people are going to be able to come through, recycle their items, get their money, and then walk walk away with a little bit more money in their pocket, how did all this come to fruition? Uh, this was a pilot project, all thanks to Cal Recycle. We yeah. started this about three years ago. And it's finally here, so we're really excited about it, and it's on my birthday as well. Yes, and and I also love too that a customer just dropped all this off. So what's going to happen here? Customers uh, so can come in. They come in, they okay. hit the green button, and okay. they pretty much dump their stuff into their mix. It'll give you a count how much money they're getting, how many bottles were accepted. At the end, they'll get a voucher. They come up to us, we'll have them print and sign, and then there's a cash machine. They scan their voucher, and they'll get cashed out. That is so cool. Okay, all right. So I want to show you real quickly all the items that are accepted, and then also a few of the ones that are not. They actually make it so easy for you. It's all listed here. So coffee, beverages, fruit juice, malt beverages, tea, veggie juice, wine, wine coolers, all those things. And then they have the non-eligible items too. Just to remind you, glass is 100% recyclable. Reducing plastic in the greenhouse emissions by 60% if you can do so. It's, it's going to make you feel good. You're going to do it in a way that's also very easy when you can just dump it all in one spot. They're making it easy for you here in Fair Oaks. So coming up in the next half hour, we're going to talk to the people who are behind that big machine that you watched, right? That thing's impressive how it all works and the global impact of this that's coming up in the 10 o'clock hour but happy recycling don't wait until earth day do it now right do it now do you. it 365 <laughs> thanks <laughs> dina thank you dina <laughs> And good day, Fair Oaks. I am Dina Kupfer. We are at San Juan and Sunset this morning at a brand new building. This used to be the old Hollywood video, if you've been in the area for a long time. Then it was a Chase Bank. Now it is a recycle center. Talk about recycling a building for many uses. It's called Simply Recycle, and that is all it is. You simply get to recycle all of your items at once, and you don't even have to sort through them, which means there's no excuses, right? Okay, let's go over and talk to JC Levitt, one of the owners here. And this is such a cool piece of equipment, so we're going to show you how the whole thing works. So first, JC, Let's talk about how you can actually bring all of your items from home. You don't have to sort them. You get to bring them in the bag and just dump them off, right? Exactly. <laughs> yep. So we are urging people not to crush their containers so that they can use the technology. As you can see here, I have a mixture, glass, aluminum, plastic, and I have the ability to just dump it all in without having to sort. Okay, we're gonna watch it happen. So in the front of the building, this is where the consumer, the customer is going to get to make all the magic happen. You're not gonna get to see the behind the scenes, but here on Good Day, we're gonna show it to you. So Dave Grassoff is gonna follow all of these items through the belt and show you exactly how it works. Okay, JC, so the reason you said not to to crush the cans is because this technology actually reads what is on those items, right? Yeah, so it's reading it by barcode and also detecting the size of the container to determine if you are eligible for that five cent deposit or 10 cent deposit. So 
Anything un under 24 ounces, you'll get a nickel back. Over 24 ounces will be a dime. And this is the first of its kind in California, this Tomra system, the technology that's being used. It is really helping to pave the way for recycling for the future. But I was surprised to hear California is kind of behind in this initiative. We don't have something like this to make it easy for customers to come and get their money back for their items. Yeah, definitely. Recycling has really become a chore for a lot of people. Hence the reason people crush their containers to save space and have to only do it every so often. But we're urging people to just come in with your few bags. Don't crush them. If you're heading into the Rayleigh's, stop by here first. Yep and you'll quickly you know, redeem and get your cash same day from our cash machine here at the center. Okay, I wanna show you how you get the money. So yep. what happens? So you get all the items in the machine, it goes through the conveyor belt, and then eventually uh -huh. you will get to print your receipt, right? Correct, so this will spit out a voucher. You'll then okay. take this voucher okay. to the attendant. Let's go get our money, honey. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, right uh -huh. over here. So typically people will stop here. They'll have to uh, meet the attendant and print and sign for okay. the material they've redeemed. They'll then be given a second receipt that they'll take here and scan at the cash machine. It'll tell them the amount they're getting back. They'll tap finish and the money will drop down below. That is so cool. How cool and how easy, right? And it's actually really nice that this facility is inside. We know that there is some weather coming. Tracy Humphrey has been talking about this atmospheric river. Oh, I can hear the money <laughs> chinking behind me. Um, and so really, you want to get out there ahead of the rain. If you have the big containers in the backyard right now that are going to fill up with water, come on over, bring your items, and you are going to be open six days a week, right? Correct. Okay. Yes closed on Sundays, by the way. So if you're watching the NFL games on Sundays, gather all the bottles, gather all the cans, mm -hmm. and then bring them in on Monday. Yep. Um, you all are a local family too, which I love. So thank you for helping to spread goodness in the world with recycling, because all of these items are gonna get to go back and be reused in other ways, right? That's what we love about recycling. Reduce, reuse, recycle. We can't say it enough, and now it is so simple. That's why it's called Simply Recycle. Okay, we're gonna send it back to you. I think this is so fun. <laughs> it is fun, and I love the, the idea of your kids grow up, this is normal, this is routine for them, so then they will be much more responsible as adults. Mm -hmm. I love it. Uh -huh. And they get cash out of it at the end. It's so true. <laughs> and then there's uh, the bonus. Thank you, Dina. <laughs>